Hi there everyone and welcome back to Simon Outdoors, outdoors in his garden because this is coronavirus lockdown which doesn't mean we have to be bored inside, we can come out to the garden, practice those skills, um, even if you've been doing it for years like I have but I've had months where I've not not done it, I've not done different things like yesterday I had uh, the bow drill, it's still there and it's still a, such a good feeling when you get that ember going the primitive fire i've just done the fire piston uh video which i'll be uploading which will probably go up before this one now, i have got the shakes because it's meant to be sun out today and it's cloudy apparently the sun shines coming tomorrow the forecast apparently a scorcher of a weekend but i'm, I'm like <laughs> even we a woolly jumper on. Um, but that's probably because I've had no breakfast, so the immune, you know, my body's not kicked into action and started going. Because, um, like I said the other day, we're rationing, so missing meals and that sort of thing. Right, so what I'm going to show on this video is in here in my tinder pouch, so you can see. There's coils, I mean there's all sorts of different things. I used to have lots more in here and, and it was, it was, I was just carrying too much. I like to say, the more you know, the less you carry. Okay, so I've got my fire piston in here, I've got a ferro rod, I've got, oh, sorry, I'm trying to show you what I've got in here. I've got another bearing block, I think this was like one of the first ones that I made. Um, it's either yew or elm wood, I can't remember. Uh, but I did it like that. I did it like taking chunks out of it because I wanted it to be rough looking. So that's in there. Little candle, jute twine, fat wood, pieces of amadou that I've processed. You know, the, I used to do these, but I don't do these anymore. And these are basically Kinder eggs uh, with cotton wool and Vaseline in. So, but what I'm going to show today is the birch bark. So I've got a nice square here. So I'll put the uh, camera down and I'll show you how to light birch bark. Right, so I'll get out my jumbo ferro rod. Now you can use a striker to scrape up the bark, which I mean I can do today. This is a giant bar of magnesium that I've had on here for ages, but it doesn't get used. And to be honest, if you look at this, my son used it the other day. This hardly gets used because my favourite methods are flint and steel or bow drill. So what we're doing, getting a sharp edge. Try and do this so you can see. Hopefully this wind doesn't blow it away. And we, we're scraping up a pile of shavings like that. Let me show those to you. There you go. What we're going to do is place the ferro rod right in front of those. Angle. People get this wrong. They go like this and, and it doesn't work. You want to get that edge right in that fur rod all the way down okay and there we are and then if you've got other pieces of birch bark introduce it to the fire like that and then we'll get going then get your sticks on and it's as easy as that thanks for watching simon outdoors